Um, hello, is this thing on? Um, everything is looking a-okay. Got some people in the chat already. That's shocking. Is this going to be based? Oh, wait, shit. Wait. It seems like the stream is on. I might have forgotten to enable low latency mode, but all things considered, I don't know if that matters too much. Um, how's it going? Region, Rax, Zohar, um, Borzi, can I have your old Saturn Pro? Dude, you do not want that nasty of a mouse pad, unless you're like trying to clone my DNA, in which case I will have to upcharge you more than just the standard cost of a mouse pad. Um, how about, how's VaxiXD stack up? I just think it's a bit too heavy and bulky. Um, wait, heard bad things about the NPO1. The NPO1S? Um, what have you heard about it? I don't know if they came out with the NPO1 wireless. Um, doing great doing good i'm doing doing better than good so perhaps that would be great um thoughts on hx 4k versus vg and dragonfly huge price difference not a huge like in hand quality difference um g wolves is ahead when it comes to tech though i was kind of surprised like how many um people are using g wolves when i said like at the vct champions tournament um, did you check out the new Lamzu mousepad? What would that be? The Energon Pro, which is just a 500 by 500 Energon? Yes. If they came out with something else, no, I have not seen it yet. So let me know on that. Thoughts on that mouse right there in your hand? This one, this is like the mini GPX hot swap mouse, and it is sick, but unfortunately, it's just like, it's not great. Like in hand, like anybody telling you it's great, they're kind of lying. Like it has a very dense feeling it doesn't feel like a light small mouse the clicks like it's cool that they're hot swap um, but i have not found it to be a great implementation and the dpi deviations weird or just something with the tech in general i'm going to drop a review of it because uh, it is an interesting mouse but it's just really not worth 120 or whatever it is uh, pan the camera told towards the ulx x and d bro x and d um i actually have no idea when that when that's going to come i should probably hit up a final mouse on that just ordered my first artisan pad a zero very nice good form um i've actually like a few friends of mine have ordered their first artisan pads recently i guess after like months and years of shilling they finally come around um is the vgn 4k based um yeah it's definitely based for the price it's not like a top mouse that i have on my desk though like honestly my psycho for not being able to play with anything else other than MM720. Yes. Um, I don't need to follow up on that. That's just crazy. Hopefully they come out with a wireless one, though. That would be cool. Um, a few people have been asking what this mouse is. It's called the Incot something. Like the HBT uh, T HPC 01M Pro, maybe? Um, it's fucking something. It's on the Mech Keys website. I'll have a review out on it soon. Modular mouse? How about a modular mouse head? I mean, Artisan's kind of offering that, but what do you mean by a modular mouse head? Like, Artisan's going to sell a base, and then you're going to be able to put whatever kind of cloth or just surface you can, like, just use adhesive spray, basically, and make it a Artisan pad. Show the GPX2. Yeah, how many of you guys peeped the GPX2 on the thumbnail? Apparently, some guy actually um bought one on OfferUp, and it was real. It's crazy. Like, that is just... Unreleased mice pop up randomly on these auction sites. That's all I'm going to say. Any word on the outset AX wireless? Now, when it comes to Vaxi and Zowie, like their future, I have no um, intel. And it seems like those are companies that move kind of slow. Um, so who knows about Vaxi's upcoming mice? Maybe House Gaming has them. I have no idea. Can you put the mic closer? I mean, it's like, it's literally this far away from my face. People have been complaining about my mic, and I don't know what it is, because it's maxing out on my amp. It's like at the loudest slider. It looks good to me. Um, so maybe, like, my mic itself is going to shit. I need some audio experts. Um, but, yeah, if it's not good now, I don't know what to say, because it's, like, three times as high as the game used to be for, like, two years. I've seen some people with ULX in person on Twitter, really. I've seen um, that Chinese mouse, the WL mouse. There's, what the fuck? Here, like, the weirdest dog ever crying outside. Needs more gain? My gain slider is maxed out. Like, every time I speak, I'm seeing purple and, like, yellow, meaning that I'm maxing it out. Opinion on X the Whale's glass mouse head? I mean, he's hyping it up like it's the best thing since puffed wheat. Um... I'm excited to try it. He's going to send me it, but I don't know. Has he really revolutionized glass mouse heads? I feel like he's the only one 
who's tried it and is saying that. So I'm just waiting. How's the LA one? I still don't have a final unit, believe it or not. Um, all of LGG's products have just been hit with unfortunate delays. Um, why you say Minerva DNA is bad and then we got the YouTube emojis? That's so based. Uh, it just sucks, man. It was muddy and just not in a good way. All around just bad. Like, I have nothing good to say about it. Um, the Equate Plus 2, I got that with it as well. I'm like, that was better. But I feel like X-Ray Pad has the Aqua Control Plus, the Aqua Control 2. Like, those are their things. X2H Boards the Edition when? Who knows? Who knows? Um, XM1R, best mouse confirmed. Oh, yeah. What do you guys think about the Endgame Gear OP1 Wii? Is that what it's called? Hold on. I should actually um, I should pull that up because I actually haven't bought that. I hate using light mode. Just getting um, flash banged. But yeah, the Endgame Gear OP1, because they're not going to send me it, I guess. I'm just not important enough to be on Endgame Gear's, like, review list, which is really crazy to me. But you know what? It's all good, because we got the OP1 Wii. It's in stock at $90. Shit. Might as well cop it. Are you blackpilled? And please play Fortnite. What do you mean by that? What does what blackpilled mean? Where, okay, here we are. Oh, no, it's out of stock in white. Oh, shit, I could be getting one of the last units. Guys, do I go for this right now? Let me know. Do I cop the mouse on live stream? I want the OP1 way. I do, too. How is the Pulsar X2H Mini? It's good. Let me um put back on my camera. I have the finalized unit here, and I was away from New York for a while, so I was not um, testing the new mice and gaming, but, yeah, I have the finalized unit here. Feels a lot nicer than the pre-production unit did. I can actually use it in Fortnite. Um, so, yeah, I'll have a review out on that early next week, I would say. How, Vaxi PA or Endgame EMC? I'd say EMC. Um, it's just, like, higher quality offering, a better pad for the price. But PA's not bad if you just want, like, GSRC style, like, disposable, smooth, balanced pad. What brand of water has the boards you seal of approval? That's like an ad plug. It's Poland Spring. It is. It's just the goat of water. If you're in New York, you are a Poland Spring fan just like I am. I don't know if they have it anywhere else, but everywhere I go, the water just pales in comparison. Like, some places, like, Aquafina, like, Smart Water, Dasani, like, those are the default waters. I'm so blessed that I get to have Poland Spring water. Um, can I have your first born child? Probably not. How did they release this before the XM2W? I don't know. I, I genuinely think they're just hoping people forget about the XM2W. Because it's getting to the point where it's not going to be a really relevant mouse, I fear. Um, Playboy Cardi was in this chat. That's awesome. Awesome to hear. Have these tapped into the mice scene. Gonna head to the store right now. Should I go for Faker Edition? Yeah, I would go Faker Edition. Why not get the newer, the more premium one? I mean, in store, fuck. That's gonna cost like $180, but who cares? You're balling out. You're getting the based Faker mouse. I mean, look at it right here. What's not to love? Um, is Logitech preparing an Ergo Superlight, or are they done making new mice? I mean, I'm sure, as a lot of you guys know by now, GPX2 is confirmed, like, slated for a release soon. Um, maybe some people have review units, maybe people like me do not. Uh, but yeah, there is going to be a super light too. I don't think they're going to do anything with the, uh, G703 shape though. I'm just, I don't believe much in Logitech. Yo, how's it going? Omali, oh, toxic, what's going on? Um, you still man the faker Death Hour V3? I'm not going to lie. Recently, I have been Viper Mini Signature Pilled. I've just been using it a lot. Um, probably because it's just like a small mouse I can fingertip and it just feels good in Fortnite. And I was just like bored of using a death V three for so long. So it has been the signature edition recently. OP one. We review soon. I mean, I'm literally going to buy it like right now. So I don't know how soon that's going to be. Um, I expected, I didn't buy one immediately. Cause I was like, Oh, maybe they'll send me one. And I don't want it to be like last time where I buy one and then they send me one after I buy it. Um, but I maybe this time around they're just not going to send it at all, which is mind-boggling. Uh, Viper Mini Signature Edition Goaded? True, this is the one you gave me at Boardsy Fest. It just has that uh, special touch and not as shitty quality as my first copy. Uh, when is your Dharma Shark M3 4K vid? That's a good reminder. I don't know why I'm getting so many comments about that now, but... I got the M3S as well, the uh, mini version, so I'll make a video covering both of them. Um, cause I just didn't want to make a video about the 4k one. Cause it was basically just a color update felt the same, but now that I have another mouse, 
Um, it makes sense to do. How is the M3 holding up? Uh, the original one still feels shitty and the click solid everywhere else. And I got the new 4K version. So I'll just like compare all of them in an upcoming video. Best mouse company? When it comes to like their lineup, it has to be Razer. Nobody's really competing with that. Has an insect or ant ever been inside your Viper Mini Signature Edition? Um, yeah, there's been a... I would imagine there's been some kind of insect in this area. It's, like, so unnecessarily open, but that's life, I guess. What is your main game? It's been Fortnite. I've actually been playing, um, Fortnite Ranked a bit recently because it hasn't... I don't know, one day it seemed to stop being completely insufferable. Also got a Death Arrow V3 Pro. That's crazy. You got the whole setup. A PC, Death Arrow V3 Pro. Gaming. FedEx just delivered my Razer package. It's a miracle. What did you get? What mouse is everybody using nowadays? So, so interested. I feel like it's going to be a lot of um, super lights still. A lot of, like, Lamzu. Main mouse pad. Uh, probably just, like, Artisan Zero, Lethal Gaming Gear, Saturn Pro. Just control pads like that. I have not been going crazy about mouse pads recently. I posted a roundup yesterday, though. The first mouse pad content in a while, and it's just like half of the pads sucked. Or just like out of stock and just completely not worth considering. Like, the mouse pad game has not changed in a while. MM712 is based. I agree. I mean, I feel like Cooler Master could make their mice even better. They just don't have a lot of motivation. Just picked up the X2 Mini from Pulsar. X2 V2 or just the normal X2? Was meaning the EC1 Beam and now I use the V2 Pro? That's interesting. I think he used the Death Arrow V3 Pro. Are you still kind of mad on the Lambsu Thorn? Yeah, I pulled it out. And it's just like my copy kind of feels like a pre-production unit. So, I, yeah, I just don't know. It's like not an ergo I gravitate towards. I don't know if other reviewers really liked it, though. Were there a lot of reviews of it? I must have just, like, missed that release or something. Did you see Apex Pro now has Rapid Trigger? I do. But I've given away most of my Apex Pros, but I think I still have my original TKL. The update isn't just for, like, the 2023 version. It's for, like, all of them, correct? Um, stop it now? What is it? What, what do I have to stop? <laughs> What's the best mouse switch? Um, I, of mechanical switches, I like Wano Blue Shell Pink Dots, um, but I feel like optical switches are kind of becoming the norm. It just comes down to, like, shell implementation. Chat, what is the purple mouse? It's uh, some Chinese mouse from Incot. I don't know the exact model name, but it is pretty cool. It just kind of feels like bulky in hand. It does have hot swap switches, and currently I actually have silent switches in. So I'll do a little sound test if you guys want. Like, I don't know how loud this is going to pick up, but here are uh, like opticals for comparison. So, yeah, pretty wild. Um, after using a Skypad, I find my hand to be really slow and sluggish. Do you think the Raiden will be fast enough? Um, I don't know. It would be weird to find a hand sluggish. Sounds like it's just, like, dirty or worn down. Is Bordy reading YT Chat XD? Yes, I, I am reading YT Chat. There's just a lot of chat messages. And I foolishly asked people what mouse they were using. So, half of the chat messages were just, like, mouse names for a while. Um... Main mouse, NPO1S? Nah, it's been the Viper Mini Signature Edition recently. It had been the Faker Death Air V3, but I just, like, I don't know if I got bored of it, but I just started wanting to, wanting to use something smaller. What do you think will be different on the new Super Light? It's pretty much confirmed. It's not too much lighter, and it's supposedly only going to be 2,000 hertz pulling, but it's going to be a while until I have that mouse in hand, unfortunately, I fear. Is the SteelSeries Prime Mini wireless mouse still relevant? Not at all. Like, no Steel Series mouse is relevant, in my opinion. That is my hot take. Blade X Board Z went. I don't know. That's a good question. I uh, need an EC2 clone that's lightweight. Don't say Death Adder V3. Maybe wait for, like, the Pulsar X Lite V3. Um, I wouldn't recommend the V2, but that one's coming out soon. The Lamzu Thorn's not really a clone. Why not just get, like, the Zowie Wireless? That's what you truly want, I can tell. Mating Zalpin Z1 Pro that I made glossy and that shit pops off? That's interesting. A modded Zalpin Z1 Pro. But yeah, that mouse was solid. It, it followed, like, the blueprint correctly for an egg-shaped mouse. 
Are you enjoying the new Fortnite season? Loving it so far? Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Um, not hating it whatsoever. I plan to play some more ranked um, today. But what I do hate, though, is I play with somebody who's on West. So being on Central after being on East all my life, it's depressing. Like, that 30 ping difference, it's like... If you're not playing Fortnite on zero ping, I understand why people hate the game. Someone tell me what's the best mouse skate for CSGO and Valorant? Like, Tiger Ice 2, like... I, that's what I would go for. BTL skates, core pads are all really good. Um, show bottom mouse game your GPX. I bet you have GPX too early. Would you bet money on it? Um, I mean, this is clearly just a normal GPX. What do we have here? What skates are these? Um, Tiger. I think they're Tiger Ice V2s. So, that's that. What's your rank? This season, I placed, like, I think I'm, I think I placed high plat. And I finished, I'm um, just past diamond three last season. But I didn't really get into the uh, ranked until the last couple of days. What the fuck? In South Africa, my brother gets 120 to 150 ping. Yeah, I was thinking about the other day. Um, P South Africans need justice when it comes to Fortnite. Like, why can't they just put servers there? It literally makes no sense to me. Are the X-ray pad jade skates worth it? Um, one of them, I think it's the obsidian that are black PTFE, which are not good. And then the other ones are red, and I don't think I've tried those. Are those the jade ones? Are those metal? I need to be, like, tapped in. There's just too much shit out right now. Like, I've seen some comments saying, like, I'm not trying enough stuff. And it's just, like, I get sent so much shit. There's an unbelievable amount of just, like meh tier mouse accessories out right now that i just can't try them all um do a backflip i don't know if i will be doing all of that what's that pearlescent mouse on your desk i wish i knew the name um maybe i'll just search up the name it's something from mech keys um can you make a video of you comparing the dharma shark m3 felina s3 450 is that the um g703 thing that people are telling me about and the incot hpc 01m and is that this mouse? Dude, this guy knows more about Chinese mice than me. Um, but yeah, I will make a video on these. Okay, so I found the mouse. Hold on, let me pull up my display capture. Okay, so apparently this is the mouse that I have. And this is the emerald green colorway. 4K compatible. That's going to run you 120 big ones. OP1 review when? I don't know. That is a good question. It is currently... $90 so I could order one from Endgame Gear. I thought I was going to be sent one, but clearly it's no longer the case. So I'm just going to have to muster up the money, get into my change purse, and uh, go purchase this. And I don't know how soon it will ship out after that. But the um, white ones are out of stock, so I should probably order it soon. Does the Artisan Zero still collect hair? Not to the same extent, like not even close to how it was before. Um, but yeah, this is the Shidinkai. This is not the Zero, as you can tell by the cool reflections. And uh, yeah, I'll make a video on the updated Shidinkai soon. But because of the nature of like the durability on the old Shidinkai, I wanted to test it more. But obviously, reviewing is a game where you got to toe the line between testing and reviewing a product. Because people are like, hey, you have to review the Shidinkai. So yeah, that's going to be coming soon. Looks like a mix of Viper with GPX shape-wise. It's... People say mini GPX. That's not exactly what I feel in hand, but like I understand that shape comparison. It's a lot thinner and it just feels like bulkier, if that makes sense. I believe it weighs more than the GPX, so you can just imagine how that will feel in hand. Is the Iron Cat mouse worth it? Now, I would say now. Um, unless you really, like, if you want to test different switches, yes, but I feel like that's pretty niche. Like, if you're just looking for a solid performance, small ambi mouse, it's not even. It's not in my top five. I don't know where it would be. Why is Cardi here? Why are people saying that? Is it actually Playboy Cardi? I, I doubt it. That would be funny, though. Um, I, I do see that account. What is the question? Thoughts on the LG G Venus Pro? I think the Saturn Pro is better. Playboy Cardi. Uh, is the Viper Mini holding me back from ranking up in Val, or am I just suck? I believe you are just suck, Ikea, Ikea Hot Dog. 
Um, yo, do you know if XV2, XUV2 internals fit in the boards? The addition, I believe it's a different shell design. But um, who knows? Stay tuned for the future regardless, Defu. That's all I'm going to say. How are you liking a Thorn compared to 703? Uh, watch my Thorn review. I already reviewed it, and I was not too high on it. If you have a G703, I would uh, I wouldn't say steer clear, but it's not going to be the exact same shape. So don't get it except expecting it to feel like a G703. Thoughts on thinking? Pretty solid. Better to think than not to think. It's up for debate. Thoughts on the Pulsar software? I heard it's sus. What does that mean? What do you think is sus about it? I'd really love to see the follow-up to that. It's just typical mouse software. Would you recommend a setup from shit? Nah, I got... It actually broke. Like, it just... The power stopped working on one of them. And I was going to send it back, but I just didn't. Why is the camera quality so poo? Is it really? I haven't dropped a single frame. It looks good on my end. So, I fear it would be your connection or the quality you're streaming at. Because, I don't know, it looks good to me. But who knows? Battery report? In the Pulsar software? Or what are you talking about? My friend recommended some YouTuber mouse pad called the KX100. Nah, I've never heard of that. Most YouTuber mouse pads are pretty, like, just standard surfaces that are already available like it's just not it's not worthy it's not worthwhile for a small like company or a youtuber to innovate on a mousepad surface they're just going to use something that the factory has available so it could be decent but it's probably not going to be anything great um your face cam looks a bit fuzzy i mean i just have a c920 which is kind of a shitty camera but maybe i mean i'll check the stream after i don't know unfortunate are you looking forward to a Sprime PM1 release? Stream looks kind of low bitrate. Damn, maybe maybe there are some actual issues. Uh, the Sprime PM1, I don't know. I'm not excited for that mouse, really. It seems fake. Have they posted anything on Twitter? Nah, they still haven't made a post in like a few days. I don't know if they've been active on Reddit. But yeah, they just post one thing with potentially made up specs, get a million impressions, 1,200 followers. Dude, the mouse community is not the heaviest when it comes to scrutiny. You get hair on the new zero. Not really. I've been asked this question a few times. Um, I should make like a video PSA on that. But yeah, this is not the new zero. This is the new orange Shinnenkai, which is pretty dope. Dharma Shark M3S came out. Need your honest review before I get one. Yeah, I just got that recently. Um, I still, fuck, it's not on my desk. It was somewhere, though, and I'll be testing it, have a review up maybe this week. Might need a f bit more. Thoughts on the Shocking Nitrite Labs mice? Um, I'm excited. I met that kid, or that guy, I don't know, he seemed kind of young, in person at Boardsy Fest. He showed me what he was working on, um, and then, like, his company popped up, and I was like, oh, that's this guy. So, I'm excited to try it out, but... Yeah, I, I haven't been sent them yet. I don't know if people like actually have them. Thoughts on Tiger Ice V2s? They're they're solid mouse kids. I would argue they're some of the best. What do you think this is the best mouse pad that's decently cheap? I mean, at the thirty dollar price point, there's just so many mouse pads. I'm about to make an updated mouse pad tier list of some kind. Why was there no artisan pads in your recent video? Um, because there weren't new any new artisan pads that released besides the um. The unreleased new Shidenkai, which I'm going to give their own video. Uh, like, what are you saying? And I did show the Raiden in that video when I compared it to the LiDAR. HTX versus Viper Signature? I'm just a Viper Mini Signature person. Like, I can't get behind the actual, like, feeling of the shape and just overall quality on the HTX, at least on my unit. But, yeah. Like, if I had to grab one, it would 100% be a Viper Mini Sig. New mouse pad suggestion? Artisan Zero. Should I get Vaxi XE or Lamsu Atlantis Mini? I mean, they're totally different mice. Do you want something like heavier and bulkier or like a small light mouse? Bo do a Boardsy Fest in my house, rural Australia. 
Um, that seems kind of miserable, I'm not going to lie. Do you think Pulsar ES2 is good for its price point? Yeah, it's not bad. Like, if you need a mouse pad, you want to, like, add it to your order from Pulsar, but I don't think it's, like, a uniquely great pad. Do you know anything more about updating upcoming artisan pads? Ones with removable tops? So it's not going to be a removable top. It's just going to be a base. Um, they're going to... And as far as I know, it, it's not going to be a pour-on base. It's going to be, like, this new type of foam base, which was pretty thick. And then you can literally... Get your own, like, this is what I used when I made the shitty paper one, um, like, adhesive spray, and then you just basically stick it on top of the base that they provide you, and you make your own, like, faux type of mouse pad. I don't know, like, when it's going to be available, but that is the concept behind it. How long should I keep my G Pro for? What does that mean? <laughs> like, until it breaks? Until you want to replace it? There are so many answers to that question. Is Death Hair V3 wired worth it? I would say it's one of the best budget mice on the market, especially if you don't mind a wired mouse. And if you want an Ergo, like, just absolutely go for it. How does it taste? The artisan base? It tasted kind of weird. Thoughts on the UKA mouse heads? I'm not going to lie. I'm friends with a few of the UKA owners, but those mouse heads are nothing special. Um, They're just, like, kind of the supreme of the fucking, like, mouse head scene. So, you know, if you want one for the UKM epic status and you like the anime character, go for it. But I get asked to review them like there's some like revelation in the mousepad world, and I just I just don't get that. Um Top three least favorite mice? I don't know. <coughs> Whenever people ask me for like mice I don't like, I can't think of them off the top of my head, but then I like think of a mouse and I'm like, oh that thing's terrible. Um, yo, Spleenhead with the five quid. Appreciate that, man. Um, that is awesome. Wait, I gotta, gotta give it the little heart emoji. Um, appreciate that, man. That's gonna, it's going a long way towards buying the Endgame gear OP1 Wii. Death Hair V3 is my mouse at work. Very nice. I remember one time a guy was like, I need a mouse for work. I work in security, so it can't be a wireless mouse. I'm like, you can just get a wireless mouse and plug it in. And he was like, my job wouldn't allow that. Your chat message just reminded me of that interaction, but I just always found that very weird. I'm trying to think, like, where is this guy working? Thoughts on Freefall SV base? It was nothing special. Like, it's the fact that a base like that commands a significant premium on the pad, it's really just, like, kind of for show. Like, it's not needed on a mouse pad, but it was very firm and unique. Is the new Shinkai going to be a D? iy version or is it fx yeah it's fx they sent me both the medium and the x soft this is the um x soft which does still have like a a bit more firmness than something like a zero x soft would but yeah it's just a standard fx i don't know why it's going to be available but i'll message the artisan rep and i will get a date on that um yo wolvesies with the 99 cents appreciate that man um well, i could buy an arizona iced tea with that um, is the Fantech Aria good? It's good. Um, the Zalpin Z1 Pro is also really good. I would say those mice are better than the Razor Orochi. Um, any more update on 39 gram Beast X or still a scan? It's looking real like they have the shells in China, but they don't have like the PCB, like all of that shit finished. So I'm just waiting on it to be sent to my door and then I will maybe have an idea of if it's a real mouse or not. Um, how much does 4K Hertz affect Fortnite gameplay? Honestly, not much, especially like when you get to points where you're fighting and you're dropping below your like max refresh rate. Um, there's not like a huge difference, but I definitely prefer playing with 4K implementations. I don't ever notice that making the game feel choppy. Um, best large wireless mouse? I would say Faker Death Air V3 is up there. Um, fuck, I just had another recommendation, but it just slipped my mind. Yeah, that's probably my, would be my go-to option. Optimum Tech Mouse release date? I have no idea. I haven't really gotten an update on that project. I presume he went to, like, redo some things on it with the shell. Um, and it, there might be a difference, like, going to mass production versus him, like, printing it on his own. I don't know. Respect for knowing quid. Yeah, I try to keep up with the UK lingo. Is PO, PMM worth it for an OG303 lover or any other rec? Such a unique shape, nothing else comes close. Yeah, if he has, like... <clears throat> With the newer, like, either GPX or Viper VG Pro Tech, 
and the new solid prints uh g303 shape i would say like that's your go-to option if you want something like one-to-one -one shape wise and a lot lighter um i don't know if you've tried the new one from logitech already but yeah i would say those are your two options nothing else is really close like you mentioned would the cobra be an okay replacement for the signature edition nah I mean, I've seen some people do some weight reduction mods on the Cobras, and I honestly want to send mine to a bearded Bob, see what he can do about it. Uh, but unless you're going to be modding it, it's just going to be such a different feeling in hand. Damn, I just saw a fucking pigeon, like, die. Just dive to the ground and die. Let's get some Fs in the chat for that pigeon. It's been a wild day outside. Optimum Tech makes insane videos, like, every week? Yeah. I always see his videos. It's just like, this guy is the goat. I'm still banned in Optimum's Twitch chat rep. Does he stream often on Twitch? See, for someone like him, I maybe he just doesn't want a ton of viewers streaming on YouTube. But um, yeah, what mouse company has the best unboxing experience in your opinion? Um, probably when it comes to like something that feels premium. Lamzu has a very interesting style, but I don't know. It's just not something I think about a lot. Sometimes I, like, rip open a box, and I'm like, what am I doing? Like, am I a Neanderthal? Between X2V2 and Lamzu Mini, which clicks are lighter? Um, I would say Lamzu Mini with the Juanos is just going to, or, yeah, that's what they use, is going to feel a little bit lighter. Yeah, I tried the SE edition. Truly tragic for someone who's used the original for many years. Rip. I have GameSense Radar. Is it worth trying the Saturn? Totally, it could be. play RevoSec benches nah aiming bench arcs are just so like lame i'm gonna be playing aim trainer something that's already boring i'm just gonna be doing my own thing on it they should just make the scenarios i like benchmarks and that would be one thing i was digging into some valve player he just respected cs damn you can never do that that's tragic i understand it Best mice feet. I've been asked that a lot. I should just make an updated mouse skates video. I've realized that. Like, if I don't talk about something for, like, six months, um, I just get asked about it, and then I just gotta make a new video. It's really a cycle. I need to get back on the grind. What's your Voltaic rank? I was Sparky Master with Grandmaster and Static and Tracking, or Static and Target Switching, not Tracking, back when it was Sparky Aim. And I have not... I have not played Voltaic Benchmarks since they did that awful rebrand. Spoken like a VT Gold? This guy's not tapped into my aim training lore. Razor's packaging is ecological, though? Yeah, I was going to say something about, like, net zero packaging is based, but I just didn't have it in me. Are you going to review the Wise Owl OGM Pro Feather? Does the feather mean it's lighter? I I have no idea. I wouldn't be opposed. I have not heard of that, though. Make a board seat AI to respond automatically. I wonder. Could I do that? That that would be um, a bit weird. Has he talked about OP1 Wii yet? Uh, yeah, I'm trying. currently trying to muster up enough money to buy it. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm probably just going to buy it after stream because... As I've said a few times, I thought I was going to be someone, but that is not the case. So, in order to deliver the reviews that everyone wants, got to cop it. Ha you ever tried the OG 8K Hertz mouse? What do you mean by that? The um, original, like, Viper 8K Hertz or the Atom Palm Hydrogen? Mustache still looking good. I still, I haven't touched it, like, going on three months now. It's becoming something more powerful than I can understand. I don't know how long it's going to be, but getting close to 1880s baseball player status. Um, Prob Nova now by guessing by your scores on the leaderboard. Yeah, I feel like whenever I grind a scenario, I can get, I'm like, I'm not an aim frog, especially when it comes to tracking. Like I can't just instantly play something and get the highest benchmark. But when it comes to like static and target switching, like I'm pretty sure I could be in that upper echelon. What pad should I buy after using the IKEA pad? Wanting something similar but more premium? Either a Saturn Pro or an Artisan Zero are just the most direct and based upgrades. You're going to try Soku mouse pads? Probably not. I feel like that company might have reached out to me. Is it? Is the company called Soku? 
When are you going to reveal, or do you mean review, HP C01M? Uh, soon. Early this week. It might not be... Maybe it will be my next upload. I don't know what I'm going to upload tomorrow. Either the Shinkai review or a mouse review. How's the neck beard? It's not bad. I do need to touch up my um, everything besides the mustache, though, to keep the look. How much mouses you got? Holy. Um, around like 200, I would say, on my person right now. Um, I gotta, like, at one point I had 11 on my desk, and I was like, I just can't. A zebra icon with a mustache would look dope for a channel icon. Damn, I'll, I'll get some AI art on that going later. That is a great suggestion. Zebra icon with a mustache. Got that one down in the mental notes. Have you heard about the rapid trigger from the Apex Pro? Yeah, um... But I accidentally, like, gave away all of my newer Apex Pros, but I still have my, like, OG one from, like, fucking four years ago or whatever. So, does the firmware update work on that version, or is it only the 2023 ones? Because I don't know if I need to get a newer one. Have you tried leather mouse pads? One time, and it was really awful. What's that shiny mouse? Um, the HPC O1M Chinese mouse that I will review soon. I don't know. I need a base thumbnail pick for it. Probably like this. Like, with the pearl, like, the little fade going. Okay, it's pretty good. Where do you store all your gaming gear? Um, the, I have, like, you can see a lot of them just on this little shelf here. And then behind there, there's a lot. Under there, there's some. And then, like, over there is, like, a huge um, thing. And then over there is a little, like, wall display. But it's, like, not really wasn't originally for mice like i can just keep going like everywhere is where i store mice basically og version has rapid trigger too okay thank you guys for the clarification um do you keep all of your mice in a box nah um that went out the window a while ago i do have i would say maybe 30 percent of the boxes um what's your yo yokai with the five big ones what's your top five small gaming mice Ooh, five off the top of my head um, definitely Viper Mini Signature, one of either the Pulsar X2V2 or the X2H Mini. Um, fuck, what was... <laughs> G-Wolves HTX or Hot ES Plus, those are going to be solid options. I know you said five, but I feel like I listed off around five mice. I don't rate the Lamzu Atlantis Mini as high. Dragonfly F1 Pro is good budget. Is the Razer Strider a good Hien clone? It wouldn't be. It's like more of a Zowie GTFX clone. It's a lot rougher. It's close to a Hien mid. If you want like the roughness and the speed and the texture of a Hien, yes. But it's going to be like very extreme um, on that side. It's not going to be like a more comfortable, lighter textured Hien clone. Five big ones? That's like a McChicken or something? Yeah, it's kind of crazy that like on apps, like a McChicken's $4 now. I swear, like, when I was in high school, like, four or five years ago, there was, like, you could get two McChickens for $3 or something. I'm sorry, but this is, America's getting ridiculous. GPX white sweat stains. Any thoughts? No thoughts. Does the Pulsar X2V2 have coating like the Bruce Lee edition? It does. Um, they did put an updated coating on it. Since it is black, it does show prints a bit more than the other version does, but just based off feel, it is the same one. Switched from Brain Dead Sense and a glass pad to higher sense and LGG Saturn. My aim has never been better. What is a Brain Dead Sense on a glass pad? Like super low because it's glass, or like super? Yeah, I presume super low to higher and on a normal pad. That makes sense. Sometimes you just gotta go basic. Like there's a reason everybody does it. How do I clean my Razer Strider mouse head? Its roughness has lost completely over time. Um, you could try the Lysol method. <coughs> you could try cleaning it with, like, in the tub, but you could just get a new mouse pad. Is the Pulsar X2 worse than the X2V2? Um, well, it's not better since it is the, like, previous version, you know? They made the new version with improvements, so it makes sense. That's going to be better than the prior version. Um, people in here caring about aim trainer ranks, like, that's going to make you better in a game. I mean, I understand the per type of person who benchmark grinds. Like, I respect it. Um, but yeah, I don't feel like, if you're playing aim trainers, you, it's definitely not the only thing to do. Uh, 
uh, let's up a board Z anything better than a Skypad 3 for speed? Um, I don't know in terms of other glass pads. Do you have GF yet? That yet is a crazy word to put there. Um, but at the moment, no. Uh, hey, board Z, do you think 20 gram full shell wireless mouse is possible in the near future? I don't know. G Wolves is like teasing that they have something coming out. But yeah, I have like no, no intel on it. Um, as far as I know, the new final mouse is like the lightest mouse coming out. Which I wonder when they're going to get to me. What is the best slow mud pad of all of these mouse heads you reviewed? Uh, check out my video yesterday where I covered the Zowie GSR2. Um, because that's a probably my go to mud pad recommendation. BF. That is a crazy, that is a crazy question. Doesn't that chameleon mouse catch a lot of fingerprints? Um, I mean, not really. You can see, like, I'm wiping my moist finger from the water bottle on it right now. It's not really picking up the prints. Um, it is like a grippy coating. Which mouse are you maining currently? I would say Viper Mini Signature Edition is what I'm putting the significant amount of time on right now. I don't know. Just wanted to. It's actually probably because I've been testing the smaller Pulsar mice as well. Um, any news on ES versions for Pulsar X2? No idea. Is the Incot Pro Emerald Green? Yeah, it is. What are the advantages of glass gates and glass pad? Glass gates, not really anything worth noting. I kind of don't take them seriously. And a glass pad, I would just recommend watching one of my glass pad videos because I've talked about them a while. It's just either going to be for you or not for you. For most people, I feel like it's just like more of a chore to use. Borzi, how are you doing? I'm kind of wondering which one to get. New Zero, Saturn Pro Software, EMC Plus. Which one's slower and more controlled? Um, I mean, it's a top. Like, you could get any of those, and you will perform the exact same. So, I mean, if you just want to get an artisan pad, I would say that. I don't know about the availability of the Saturn Pro Software where you live. I mean, if you can get the EMC for a lot cheaper, I would say go for it, but there's really no difference. Um, have you been keeping up with Navrat? I see Rocket DT 990s. I have. I'm not like closely, but like I'll check his channel and I'm like, wow, he's gaining subs. Like he has a wife that he found on YouTube that lives with him. He's still making videos. Like, okay, Navrat is doing well for himself. But yeah, I'm. Uh, Bordsy, be honest. How much have you spent on the hobby, the sports card hobby? Not a well, or the mouse hobby. I don't know. Hobby in quotes makes me think you're uh, tapped in to the sports card, but the gaming mouse hobby, I have a, uh, I have no idea. Uh, I see that makes sense. Thanks, bro. Yep. Um, can you put up your mic volume a bit? Honestly, no. Like my gain slider is literally maxed out. My mic, you can see it. It's like fucking not even a hand's length from my face. Um, he found a wife on YouTube? Yes, yeah, scroll through his videos and you'll see some of them are like ASMR done by his wife. Oh, mouse? Um, I would say somewhere like 10 to 15k-ish on mice, which is really like not a lot when you just consider how many like products I've made review videos on. Maybe it's more actually. I don't think it is because like a lot of them are like 60 to 150 dollars, which I, like you can get a lot of products at that price. There's no problems with sound. Yeah, but I've like already turned it up a lot for it to be at the point where there's no problems. So I'm just like, I got to troubleshoot my mic or something. Um, is there like possible issues with mic volume if there's a ton of dust? Maybe you just have it plugged in for years on end and dust accumulates. Um, what do you feel about the Lamsu Maya? I don't have any thoughts because I like don't have the mouse in hand or really know much about when it's going to come out. Kind of just waiting until I get one. But yeah, I don't know if it's going to come out soon. Um, what happened to your Focal Clears? I remember you having them. I just kept dropping them. like, And they just broke one day, and I was like, okay, I'm just going to put these things away. I'm trying to sell them, though, for like 200 bucks because I feel like if I repair them, that would be, um, could still work. I found my wife in Borzi's comment section. She's from North Korea, so we can't meet. Unfortunate, but happy to see you found love in such a hopeful place. What's that purple mouse? It's called the Incot HPC-01M, I believe, if my memory serves me. 
but yeah it's 120 dollars for mech keys i will have a video out on it soon the biggest thing is that it is hot swap and currently it has um silent switches in it so you can uh, hear it Fordsy, do you dabble in custom mice switches do you mean like modding out your mouse switches or like custom making your own mouse switch because i've been in the mouse scene for a while and i've never seen any custom mouse switches is the cobra wireless mouse good but just heavy kind of i mean it doesn't even feel like much better than the viper ultimate was when it dropped like it's not a great like trend setting mouse no matter how you spin it even if you don't care about the weight hello big love from here yo what what is here crotus i'm happy to hear that though probably a connection that severed right with the audio i would imagine maybe like it's just not maybe the cloud lifter went to shit i don't know what it could be yeah buying your own switches i mean um sometimes but i just don't like think it's really worth it to like solder a mouse like if i get a mouse like custom made sometimes i'll get new switches in it but meh um main camera froze oh it did yeah i expected it to do that um it's just because it's the summer and it's so hot and like my office space the camera just overheats and i just have not found any way to actually fix it but i guess we can have a little display capture while my camera um gets a hold of itself gpx two thoughts um i could try to pull up the gpx two post oh wait we have this prime post i don't know about I don't even care. I'm sure after swapping and using so many mice so often, it affects your mouse grip. Um, not really. Like if I put enough time on a mouse, like I can always just get back to my grip on it. Um, but I would say the biggest thing is using an ergo mouse for a while and then swapping to ambi. It's just gonna take a, probably like a few hours to get your hand to fully adjust back. Will you be reviewing the M800 Ultra from Deluxe? Um. Maybe if they send me it. Mech Keys kind of just sends me these Chinese mice and I review them at my own pace. It's a very like hands off process. So whenever I get it, I'll review it. I expect I'll get it at some point. What's your recommendation for another mouse coming from an X2 Mini Boards Edition? Maybe like an X2 V2 Mini and X2 H Mini are pretty, pretty solid. Um, if you want to fucking splurge, you could go Viper Mini Sig, but. Yeah, I don't know. Did you check out the mouse tier list yet? What does that mean? Did I check? Oh, you're talking to someone in chat, I believe. Is the Kurosan overhyped? Is it better than Artisan? It is not even close to better than Artisan. I would say, based on the hype it received, it probably is overhyped. But it's just like, it's a decent product. It's not worth $50, really. And, wow, that better than Artisan thing. Not even close. AK Hertz pulling rate would fry my CPU. Um, potentially, potentially, depending on the game. Please review the M800 Ultra. It seems way better than the others. Okay, I'll get my people to get on that ASAP. Do you think Otsu is better than the Hia? Not really. It's more expensive. It ha It's a slightly more comfortable texture, especially in, like, X-Soft, but I feel like a Hia and Soft, Hia and Mid, it's just, like, there's really not a huge difference. Have you tried the Riz pad from the Whale? Nah, but Whale's gonna send me all of his pads, including the new glass pad for a roundup but again i don't know how soon that's going to be worth buying a second hand tens final house for 150 no <laughs> not even close just if you're going to spend 150 on a final house just save 50 more and get the um ulx next time it drops um, unless you like care about the keyboard and you want the card for that as well, then maybe it's more worth. Um, do you know if Death Arrow V3 has the updated coding of the wired version? The Faker Edition does. The other ones don't so far, as far as I know. Um, most pros just use GPX or Death Arrow V3 Pro. What's your opinion on mainstream hardware over enthusiast gear? I mean, this is... That's pretty mainstream recommended stuff, even in enthusiast circles. It's not like, I feel like big companies have the most reliable tech that's pretty widely known um, that matters on a stage setting. Some people are using G-Wolves mice though. So 
it's clearly evolving a bit. And with mouse pads, it's crazy. There are not even one, like, outside of CSGO, you don't really see any QCKs anymore. Like, people have started to use artisan pads. Like, Lethal Gaming Gear Saturn Pro is huge in Valorant. Like, so enthusiast pads are definitely starting to heat up. Opinion on Starlight 10's mouse. I mean, it's just, it was a final mouse drop. There's really not much to think about. It's the same as all of the other Starlights. Not worth buying a Starlight at this point. Um, do you think sensor tech, sensor and pulling rate tech is so good that the biggest feature of what makes a mouse good is the shape and weight? I would say it's the biggest difference, but companies, unless it's like a truly like top tier, like 3950 implementation from Razer, um, I, I just would not say like all tech across the board is the same and flawless. Like that's definitely a big fa factor as well. CS player and only rock key ends. That's interesting. Cringe question, but what is the best Minecraft mouse out right now? Debount, adjustable, debounce, wide buttons, etc. I don't know, man. Um, I have no idea. Wasn't Minecraft mouse reviews like a whole genre? Did that thing just die? That seemed like a bubble to me when everybody is like spending hundreds of dollars on the bloody A70. Do you still ride the battle bus? Yup, and I, I thank the battle bus driver. Is the Viper Ultimate front heavy mouse, or do I just feel it? I mean, it depends on where you grip it, but yeah, that could could totally feel that way. You should get a Viper V2 Pro. The F Pulsar software has been flagged by Windows as a Trojan and has been detected by Virus Total. I would be willing to bet a lot that it is a false flag, but I will run it later today. Yeah, that sounds like when Rocket Jump Ninja schizoed out about the uh, G-Wolf software a few days ago. Would you choose Wire Death Air V3 or Wireless if you had to choose one? I mean, if I didn't have a budget, Wireless, but if you just, like, the Wired version's better bang for your buck for sure. It's lighter, has the updated um, coding as well. It's just, like, newer version, 8K as well. Which team will win VCT, EG or PRX? Um, I, I gotta say EG. I have been like slightly following it. Can't get too invested, but um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like EG has it in them. How do you think bot? How do you think buy Starlight Twelve this time for retail buy? What does that? What did I just read? That's like actually gonna give me like an aneurysm. Um. I'm addicted to the mechanical editing aspect of Fortnite, and I can't stop. I get that. Like, the, it's just such an enjoyable game to play. Like, once you get building and editing, like, just fluid. There's not really any other game that has the same mechanics, but I don't know. I'm a new viewer. What's your opinion on the Death Header series? I'm addicted to the shape. Have you tried the new one, the Death Header V3? It's like their new take on the shape. I don't think they're gonna use the um old one anymore. So. I'd recommend getting the Death Air V3 wired because that's like really Razer's latest and greatest offering with the Death Adder. <laughs> Heard about Atom Palm Hydrogen 2? What about it? Does it seem like act? Does it? When I saw it, it didn't seem like an actual upgrade. That was my only um, thing I really noticed about it. What do you think of the Vaxi brand? I think they're pretty based. I think they move kind of slowly, um, and they're obviously not, like, tapped into all of the trends, but they make quality products, and I really like the um, NPO1S wireless. The PA pads are decent for the time they last, but, yeah, they don't have, like, a vast lineup, I feel. Are you ever going to stream, like, gameplay or have a second gameplay channel? I, really, I keep saying I'm going to make a second gameplay channel, but I just never have, so... I don't know if I should just keep saying that because I want to, but I just don't even know what I would post there. But yeah, streaming games. I don't know. I just always feel like people, like if I stream aim trainers, like that's just only fun for like 30 minutes. Fortnite's like two aids to stream. Are you going to review the 
five Lina S four fifty. It's the Lamzu HST clone. What what is the Lamzu HST? I thought that was the G seven oh three mini shape. Um, if you were to put mouse and keyboard interest in a ratio, what would it be? Eighty mouse, twenty keyboard. Um, yeah, I'd probably say like ninety. 90 mouse, 10 keyboard, 80, 20, something like that. Um, because keyboards are just so simple. Wooden clears everything. Apex Pro Mini second. Like, everything else is so far below. If you want a custom keyboard, cool. It's not really my thing, though. But, yeah, with mice, it's like, there's just so much to it. <laughs> que vos gostosina. Is that... Is that Spanish or Portuguese? I don't know what's going on there. Why is Fortnite AIDS to stream? It would just be horribly laggy playing ranked. And if I were to play just like the normal mode, it would be so boring. Um, so yeah, I've just like never been able to find the balance. And like creative stuff could be fun, which is like the one, it's like the last hope. Like Fortnite cr creative customs with viewers, but... I don't know if we'd have enough people for that. I, there's usually enough people for like a few sessions. I'll try to do one of those um, sometime soon. What's a goodie, my gang? How's it going, Glubo? Um, how can any company compete with BTL now that they dropped the Sanrio grip? Sanrio skates when? Yeah, that's crazy. I got like if you guys have not seen the Sanrio grips, like what is BTL even doing at this point? Holographic, San unlicensed Sanrio grips? Like they got it. Um, sounds like it's time to invest in the hell of d dual PC streaming. I can't. Like, my room would become a fucking, like, I don't know, I would burn to death if I had two PCs going in this tiny office space. It's, like, actually a predicament. Um, and it's unfortunate that no matter how good a PC is, you just can't single PC stream without, like, tons of noticeable input lag. Will you do a gaming stream? Yeah, I'll try. I'll do a Fortnite stream this upcoming week. Keyboard is basically, do you want to spend money on rapid trigger or overpriced keycaps? True. Is it worth upgrading from a G Pro wireless to a GPX or V3 right now? Um, I would say give it like a few more weeks. There might be a GPX too. Um, but yeah, if you want a Death or V3, I'd say go for that now. Yeah, I'm ripping the water bottle cap. On Twitch or YouTube? YouTube. I basically only stream on YouTube. Um, I stopped streaming on Twitch. It just doesn't make too much more sense. Um, oh, so the... F I haven't tried any mice from Felina. Um, I presume that's a Chinese mouse. And yeah, I'll try their stuff out. What's a nice upgrade coming from a G203 if I want wireless? That's a good question. Because I don't want to say a G305, but there's not many mice like with that shape style. You go like Viper or V2 Pro, might work. GPX 3 really worth it over a Viper V2 Pro? Just, I mean, it just depends on your shape preferences, really. Any updates on ULX? No, I have none at all. Did you give that person a free mouse? So, oh, the religious person who shamed me on Twitter? Let me try to find this as well. This was crazy. This guy said, can I have a free mouse? They freaked out on me for, I don't know, being weight, being white and face apping my picks. Yeah, ultimately he wanted a free mouse. I didn't give him one. <laughs> Are you looking forward for the Lamzu Maya? Yeah, I mean I'm excited to receive it, but I don't have too many thoughts on it. I don't know too much about how like it's gonna be. But yeah, should be interesting. Did you receive the new Shinka? Yeah, I have it on my desk right now. Let me see if my camera has a. Uh, woken up it's had enough rest okay it's still frozen but now let's hit the little trick deactivate activate okay activate again unfortunately it does not seem to have woken up let's give it a little jiggle if there's any camera experts that know um why my camera sucks and it like stays on but it goes black in obs that would be much appreciated oh here we go what do you think about Arsenal dropping points today? At first I thought you were talking about the Roblox game. Then I realized you were talking about soccer. And realized I don't care about either. So, I don't know. N not many thoughts. 
yes, battery. But I've already, like, done something with the battery. Same thing I did with my last camera. And was there a problem? But it's, like, it's not the battery because it's plugged in. So I just don't know what it could be. It's the fastest XXL mousepad right now. Claw? It's a weird question. Yes, it's still bad. What do you mean? So what do I need to do? How do I fix it? Or am I just fucked? Vestal Lambs, you mouse? I mean, they only have two, the um, Atlantis and the Thorn. I'm not a big fan of the Thorn, so I'd say either the Atlantis or the Atlantis Mini. You know, if you're getting an OP1 Wii, been waiting for a review and some solid comparisons between it and other mice. Yeah, I don't think I'm getting one, but I was planning on ordering one after this stream. Which is like crazy, but you know, just gotta, gotta suck it up and contribute to Endgame Gear's business. Have you heard about Atom Palm Hydrogen 2? I mean, what's there to hear about it? I, I commented that before. I was like, what, what are the differences? And they're just asking if I've heard about it again. And the answer has not changed. Apex Pro with Rapid Trigger has increased my headshot percentage by 10%. Proof is in the pudding, folks. When's the new Shinkai dropping? I don't know, but I will have an answer for that in my review. Um, camera. My battery exploded in my GoPro, so try taking out the battery. Yeah, I don't think... Actually, I do think I have a battery in, so maybe I will take the battery out. Or do I have a fake battery? I'm not even sure. There's something, though. What's your opinion on the HSK Pro 4K? Pretty bad shape. It's, like, light, but not a good mouse. I don't know, in my opinion. Like, I would not spend, what is it, like, $160? Crazy. What is the White Mouse Lambsu? Yeah, it's the Lambsu Thorn. Posted a review of it a while ago. I was just using it a bit more. I was like, do I like this? And the answer is, like, still not really. Turned on my heater, and it froze my PC. Should I be worried? Um, potentially. Who knows? Honestly, don't remember a camera fix. There was a streamer that had the same issue. I know I'm not helping. Maybe it was the cable. It could be the cable. Um, it just feels like the camera gets really hot. It's like overheating, but the actual camera display is fine. Like the camera itself doesn't mind, but my cam link or OBS is like, hey, this this can't go on. Maybe it's because of overheating. Yeah, I don't know. I just find it weird that the camera itself never turns off, like even for days on end, which might be a problem that I'm leaving it on overheating for days on end. Um, but yeah, that's life. What is the purple mouse on the desk? It is the Iron Cat HPC 01M. It is a Chinese mouse with hot swap switches and obviously it's like pretty cool coding that I will have a review out on soon, like one of my next videos. Viper May Signature Edition worth 400? Nah. It's not even worth what it costs out of the box. Um, that seems more expensive, but if you like have the money to buy one, it's an insane mouse. Yes, the mouse is worth 400 Buy it ASAP. I second that comment, actually. Um, looking for a Viper Mini alternative. You think ELX or Jewel's HTX is similar? Um, and the fact that they're going to be small, wireless mice, yes. They're extremely lightweight, but like shape-wise, not identical. Um, I would say ULX is probably going to be better, just because I'm not an HTX fan. I just can't get behind it, but some people are. Wordsy, you are so unbelievably chill. I appreciate that. I try to be as chill as possible at all times. Does the Iron Cat Mouse have a coating? Yeah, definitely. Saying Incot sounds racist. Um, just, I don't know how I feel about that. Would you consider getting a mullet? Definitely not. The only obscure hair I'm willing to go for is the, um, the mustache. People argue my normal natural hairstyle hair style is weird but i don't i also can't talk today i wonder what that's about probably because it's my first stream in forever um faker coding worth the extra 20 for death v 3 like honestly if i was getting one mouse i would definitely want it to be the best like version of the model so i would go for it but i don't know it would be ideal if they refreshed the other ones 
Erm, this live stream is shocking. I will be reporting to Logitech. God damn it. Well, honestly, relations can't get any worse with Logitech. What is your haircut? It's weird. It's like I've just been going to the same Russian barber shop since I was 12, and they just, they don't have a file, but they remember me. One of my barbers went back to Russia <laughs> at the start of a global conflict and never came back. And that was my top guy. Um, so from then, I've had a new barber um, who, I don't know, he just kind of cuts my hair. So hopefully that answers your question. Um, does the faker coating feel like more of an EC2? It's, it's like not as slippery. Not, like, not slippery, but it's not as, like, wet and rubberized as an EC2. It's, like, a little bit more dry, but still rubberized. Really good, though. Like, one of the top coatings. F and chat for the barber? Yeah. One of your barbers? Well, it's, like, it's a Russian barber shop, and there are, like, always six people there. So you just get a idea of the entire roster. But yeah, I'm, like, a like an NBA player of a different barber in each city. You're doing it wrong. Should be only should only be one barber. Well, it was the majority him until he died. So, um, I don't know. Can't have him cut my hair anymore. What do you think of the Razor Viper Mini? Uh, I like the Signature Edition a lot. They discontinued the OG version. So, yeah, the Cobra is now, like, the Wired Cobra is basically the modern Viper Mini, but... The fact that it doesn't have a better sensor, like it just kind of rubs me the wrong way. I don't know what Razer is doing with that Cobra release. Thoughts on the Ann Pro 2? Um, that was actually my first ever keyboard, which means you probably shouldn't buy it um, in today's day and age. Get a bald taper. I will keep that, keep that recommendation in mind. I was wondering, do you feel any input delay on VGN F1? Nothing really noticeable. Definitely better feeling than some of the other Chinese sensors. Death Air V3 Pro or EC3CW? Um, I'd say Death Air V3 Pro pretty easily, but if you like the Zowie feeling a lot, go for that. How's 4K pulling both a big improvement but also 1K implementations like Vaxi or top tier? I mean, like Vaxi, Logitech, those 1K implementations are like a cut above other 1K implementations. And I mean, 4K is an improvement. It's just the cursor feels better. The motion is clearer. So the mouse input is better. I don't really get what's hard to understand about that. Worth waiting for the final mouse centerpiece? Probably not. There have been like no updates on that in a really long time, right? Uh, you hype for the GPX two? Kind of? Not really. Like it's not as it's not a generational upgrade like the G Pro wireless to the GPX was. So I don't know if I really care about it as much. But it's obviously a new mouse from Logitech. Going to be using it for a while. Did you get your OP1 Wii in? Are you experiencing LOD issues? Nah, I'm about to buy one um, after I finish streaming. Was not cool enough to receive a review unit. When you play Valid, do you use Phantom or Vandal? It entirely depends on which skin I want to be using. You look like Mr. Beast. Should you send you should send me a mouse. I get that um a decent amount. Mr. Beast is probably my number one celebrity comparison. Are optical switches copium? What does that mean? Like, no? They're, why would Razer and Logitech be switching to them if they were copium? Well, I mean, I guess Razer's been using them forever, but yes. Use your noggin. Do you use AK pulling on the Signature Edition? Nah, I use 4K. Um, like, 8K works unless I'm spamming my clicks, which obviously, like, in a clicking scenario or Kovacs is going to happen a lot. Um, so, yeah, I don't understand why, like, that's... That is an issue. You should pick up an OP1 Wii at your local micro center. I don't, I d would doubt they have it. 
Really sick and tired of my G402 and want to upgrade. That is crazy. Um, do you use all three side buttons? Because if you do, that really limits your options. A company like Pulsar or Lamzu should make a three side button mouse. That would be base. Um, is Pulsar working on their esports line? I mean, I would imagine. I'm not like a fucking, I'm not a Pulsar company representative like on their lines. Have you spent a lot on Valorant? Like, not compared to some people, but for the very low amount of time I've played Valorant, I have an inventory that does not match that little play time. Like, it's just dumb. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> that would be the answer. Project Loki? I have no idea what that is referring to. Will I see a difference if I use 4K polling on a 240 monitor? Um, yeah, especially if it's a monitor with, like, good motion clarity, I would say you'll notice a pretty big improvement. You are the Pulsar CEO now. It's true. Would a PMW3325 be worth for a $30 GPW coin? No. That is, just close out of whatever tab you're on. And just don't ever think about it again. Um, favorite car brand? I don't know. Last time I answered it, I feel like I was wrong um, when I said Audi. So, I don't know. I need a new answer for that. Um, what mouse would you like to choose between Pulsar, XUV2, Lamzu, the last minute? I'd say Pulsar, XUV2, but it's just me. Mm -hmm. Best wired mouse? I'd say Death V3 wired, but there's actually a surprisingly decent amount of um, wired mice with like better tech, like 8K hertz, and obviously there's not going to be the wireless interference issues with companies like fucking HyperX. I believe Cooler Master is going to have an 8K wired mouse as well. So, um, wired mice are kind of underrated. What's the red mouse pad you got there? This is the um, Lethal Gaming Gear Saturn Pro Double XL in soft. I just covered it in my video yesterday. And the orange one is the sh new Shinkai, which I kind of want to make the video on the new Shinkai soon. So, that'll be tomorrow. <laughs> Will 2K polling rate work on a 165 hertz monitor? I mean, it's going to work. It might not be really noticeable. Yeah, I, I don't know if you'll be able to notice a difference on a 165 hertz monitor. But it's like, if you have a 2K hertz implementation, feel free to use it. Like, it's obviously going to be better. Have you ever done a sober stream, brother? Why, why are you saying that? Like, I am entirely sober right now. I'm just like drowning in blue light and I've just been staring at this chat screen for the past hour. So I'm not, and I didn't take a caffeine pill. So I don't know how you can expect me to have any type of energy. Um, I ha do you think the XUH is good for large hands for relaxed grip? Um, yeah, I would say that would be where the standard size XUH would be good. But uh, other than that, it's not really, he's just high on life. That's what I'm saying. People are hating. They, they just never experienced the highness on life. Of course, he reminds me of a young Luke Smith. I have not heard that one before. I will have to look that up. Luke Smith. How does the Hottie S compare to the Dharma Shark Mini? Um, I don't know. <laughs> just wait for my Dharma Shark Mini review. I actually have not used it much. Um, sorry for spamming, but I looked at the camera issue a bit. They say it's probably the cable. Maybe try another slash newer HDMI cable. Appreciate that tech support, Zoli. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> Apex or Fortnite? Fortnite, 100%. Like, I'm, there's something in my blood that just makes me hate Apex and love Fortnite. I've tried to get into Apex six separate times, and every time I just wind up back on Fortnite. And a few times I've been like, man, Fortnite sucks. I need to play something else. But it's just like something about Apex. It's like you just got to play Fortnite now. Why do you use control pads now? I don't know. One day, like, I kind of just swapped from textured Heian clone style pads to control pads. And I was like, I don't know if there's really a huge difference here. And they're, like, kind of more comfortable and standard. So I just kept using them. You're going about falling rate. Just use a PS2 mouse. True. Wish my PC had PS2 slots. Borgie reminds me of a young Saddam Hussein. Uh, Borgie, you should start doing monitor reviews. I hate monitors. Um, like, just having multiple of them. I, it took me so long to settle on the PG27 AQN because 
there's just no monitor where people don't find something to complain about or there's not like some major issue besides this one so i'm just good on it i'm just going to keep using this until something better comes out yeah apex has a higher skill gap so that is a crazy thing to say why does google say you are a musician does it really never um googled myself maybe it's a sign of something to come Is the Shidinkai a control pad? No, not even close. It is a like one of the fastest pads on the market. Bro hates monitors. I just hate the monitor game. Like, there's so many reviews that will just like either leave out or like minimize an issue. Like I don't know, monitor reviews and they're just there are so many tests and I feel like some of them don't matter compared to the eye test. It's just I don't know, it's a disingenuous game. Or is he making music? Actually, I mean, I have the perfect mic for it, the uh, RE20. Are you using ULMB2? At sometimes, yes, sometimes not. Um, I really haven't determined on what's better for Fortnite. I was liking it for a while, but then I came back and realized I wasn't using it, and I was, like, enjoying that as well. So, kind of sad. <laughs> Apex has a goof gap, and Fortnite has an even goofier one. What does that mean, a goof gap? What's your Fortnite sensitivity? Oof. Off the top of the head, like 3,200, and would it be like 1.2? Does that make sense? If that makes sense, that's probably what I'm on. Did you dislike the free fall pad? It was just kind of mid. Like, there wasn't... I didn't feel like it was especially good in any way. It was like a generic surface, really firm, which I didn't feel like added anything to the pad. And the base was just kind of like a gimmick where it was good, but I didn't feel like it really added anything either. Fortnite Roblox when? I don't know, but the whole Fortnite UEFN thing seemed to kind of like die super hard. Or maybe like eight-year-old kids are playing it, and I just have no idea. Does 1K difference in point rate of the new super light really matter? I mean, it's a completely new sensor, so I presume there is going to be um, an obvious like generational leap in the tech, but I haven't experienced it, so I have no idea. Are all of your mice blessed? Nah, just the one. Should get another one blessed, though. I still remember how awkward that was. That's crazy that I just like have that video publicized. Um, Fortnite furry skin when? I don't know. I feel like they have some already. What's the CM per 360 for that? For what I play in Fortnite, it's low. It's like either 37 or like 31. It might even be lower or like a lower number. Obviously, it's like pretty high sense. But like when I'm playing aim trainers and shit, some usually between like 40 and 60 CM. Does Lamzu has an macro software? I don't know, man. Um, if I was a betting man, I would say yes, but I just can't give you that confirmed hard answer. My friend brought, bought a Death Air V3 Pro, but he can't get a dongle. How slash where can he get it? He's from Switzerland. That's interesting. Like, the Razer website doesn't ship to him. I'm sure, like, he can find one on eBay or something. Like, some just third-party website would be selling one. Might be at a premium, but yeah. We need Breakdown versus Boardsy 1 V1 build fight. No? I mean, are you NA? Because your EU probably be AIDS, but yeah, I'm always down for a Fortnite 1v1. Volume's kind of low. I don't know how. Dude, I've been ha I've been having so many tech issues with my camera, my fucking mic. Like, a few years of no tech issues, and then they just all come together. Um, but I feel like the camera, I feel like my cloud lifter stopped working. <laughs> I feel like people underestimate my Fortnite prowess. When is your icon skin in Fortnite coming? I don't know. Did you ever fingertip the Death Adder V3? Like, that wasn't, like, the main way I used it, but I've definitely pulled off the grip at times. You can see, like, it's not a mouse where it's so high profile to the point you can't really fingertip it. Won't be on me. I live in Australia. My server only. Sounds good. I have your stream on 400%. Yeah, I don't doubt that there's something with the audio, but, like, I'm not lying. It is literally peeking out. Um, 
Should I buy an XG Boardsy edition and bless it? I don't see a reason not to. Earnings check. I've got some PR on my days. Back from the uh, Winter Royale. High tech O2 V2 durability texture versus radiant. I don't know, man. Do I look like an artisan mousepad encyclopedia? Bring the RE20 closer to your mouth. You can see it. I, I can't. Like, it's this far away. It is this far away. That should give you an idea. Like, it has worked. It's been so much louder than this for years on end. It's not like it just needs to be a millimeter closer. Artisan Hien still king of paths? I say that and the zero are top tier. High hopes for a spry mouse to be real? Yeah, I wonder how far out it is still. Check your OBS levels. You can, like, you can see it's pretty fucking loud. And it's maxed out, so I don't know, man. Winter Royale, that's a throwback. That's what I'm saying. Did you hear about the Apex Pro 0.1 actuation rapid trigger update? I did, um, and I'm going to plug in my full-sized OG Apex Pro, or not full-sized, the TKL OG one, and do the update and make a video on it. That prize pool was huge? It was. I miss when Fortnite just threw money away in tournaments like that, and they just, like, with the item shop nowadays, it's actually disgraceful that they throw pennies to comp. So, yeah. Do you play Val? Not really. VG and, VG and F1 Pro Max 4K with or without it. I still wasn't able to figure out their 4K implementation. So I would say, like, if you're on a budget and you don't really care about it, just go without it. Windows sound settings. I mean, that's, like, the last thing I need to check. But, yeah, I just, I don't know what to say. Like, sounds fine when I record a video, even though you guys complain that my videos are quiet. So I don't fucking know. Get in touch with HyperX and tell them to get their asses on the 4K polling right now. I actually used to know a guy who, like, worked in product at HyperX, um, but he left them. And since then, they haven't been too hot when it comes to the mouse team, so. Yeah, I don't really know what to say. That's not a company I would put all of my eggs in their basket, but they do have the wired version. Should I get HSK 4K? No. Um, yeah, you said HSK. I thought you meant, like... Hot yes. Um, HSK just avoided, I would say. Have you tried PUBG? No. It, I've seen, like... Yeah, I don't know what to say. I saw that game, like, kind of got revamped for a little bit, but I don't think it's really alive or worth getting into at this point. Hmm, top three underrated mouse pads? I don't know. I feel like... I don't know how many underrated mouse pads there are. There are just so many pads out there. That's kind of just like a sea of decent stuff. I can't think of any like hidden gems. How long have I been live? Only an hour and 20 minutes? Damn. I've seen the PewDiePie clip. Yeah, that's that's all the H1Z one. Or no. Wait, what's that? PUBG or H1? Yeah, that's all the PUBG I've ever been exposed to. Should I get a Ninjutsu Origin 1X for $30? Um, it's not a bad buy if you want to try the shape. Is it like, is that going to be the best mouse you've ever tried? Going to change your life now, but $30, not terrible. Um, what do you think of Cyber? I no thoughts on it. Does Artisan Zero still have the hair problem? Not nearly to the same extent it used to. Drag click on your mouse right now? I can't. I'm not based enough. I'm not tapped in. Pure trackpad is located hidden gem. Which one? The Alpha Cell one or the Talent? Like the original one. Was that the Blood Hunt game, Nazi? That that sucked. <laughs> I played that like for a few hours. Why do you hate the G640 so much? It's just an awful, like, disposable pad. It's a tech affected by humidity, really bad durability. Like it's good for a little bit, but it's not worth like being your main mouse pad. Think AC2 is good enough, or should I buy Artisan Zero? I mean, I would always, no matter what your mouse pad situation is, I would recommend buying an Artisan pad, pretty much. You gonna play CS2? I mean, I'll check it out when it gets released, but I doubt it will be my main game or anything like that. 
I'm just continuing to put my hope into Fortnite, which has not gone well for a few years now. But, you know, that's why they call it faith. I like the movement. Yeah, I see how it could have been an enjoyable game, but, like, it was just never going to catch on. What else should I get for CSGO under 80 grams? I don't know, like, fucking anything from Zowie would work, Death Hour V3 Pro, Viper V2 Pro, New GPX. Any mouse, really, that I recommend would be under 80 grams. What's your main game? Unfortunately, Fortnite and Aim Trainers. Um, first FPS mess after 20 years of MMOs. Do I go cheap to see how it goes or just jump straight in with something? Yeah, I would jump straight into something good. There's no need to waste money torturing yourself with a bad product, in my opinion. Did you see there's a farming simulator league and there's a LAN event going on? No, but that actually interests me. A farming simulator LAN event. I wonder how, like, hectic it gets. This season is very good. Yeah, but, that, like, usually Epic will just ruin a decent season a few, like, days or weeks in. So I'm not going to, like, get too ahead of myself. And the Rocket Ram, it's, like, fun to use, but I feel like once you get to a certain ELO and people start, like, using those against you, then it's not going to be as fun of an item. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Are hybrid pads good for people who can't decide between control and speed? Um, they definitely have, like, both aspects. Like, more textured pads are going to have both control and speed. But there are, like, balanced cloth pads that give you a good, a good amount of speed while maintaining, like, control that you won't find muddy. So, really, it's just, like, whichever you prefer the feeling of. What should I do? Like, speed run? I don't know. That's why we got to tap into it. You think the XM2W is still going to release? I don't know, man. Um... I don't know, like, you would have thought it would have released by now. And they're just releasing new mice, not addressing it whatsoever, which is just, like, crazy. Shockwave Grenade is better anyway. Yeah, I agree. I'm really happy they have, um, Shockwave back. What's your rank? I'm, like, I just, I'll, I've only played a few games this season, and I'm in Diamond 1. I got placed, like, in Plat. But, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Usually Fortnite rank, it's one of those things where you, like, play a few games, just die in, like, a super unfortunate way, and you're like, that is enough Fortnite for the day. I feel like that happens literally every session. You don't run a double monitor setup? I do. I have one um, over here and then one over here. I've thought about, like, making it triple, but I, it's just not worth it. <laughs> I was on scrims, used it to get its own, and got beamed instantly for all my health. Yeah, this is going to be a really good season for, like, aim clips. There's just so many, like, targets I've noticed already. And the new um, MK or whatever is super good, so. Um, I was surprised that they made ARs better. Yeah, I need a good spot to land in if I'm actually going to be playing Fortnite ranked. Why don't you use a monitor arm? I do. Um, I just don't have one on this one because I wasn't sure when I first got it if it, if it was going to be my main monitor. Um, but I'm at the point where I could. But it's also like, what space am I really missing out on? Like, I could put a few more mice. I'm literally not missing out on any mouse pad room. Um, the angle doesn't bother me, so it's just not, like, too urgent. Do you think you have your endgame set up? Um, more or less, I would say so. Like, everything is good enough to be endgame. But, obviously, I'm still making improvements to my setup. I'm gonna head out. Slave away. GG's yo. Have a good, have a good one, Guadalupe. Why nobody talks about extra five mice? Cause they're kind of irrelevant, and they got acquired by Cherry and just have not been doing shit. I was wondering if you don't get any lag issues when running a 1440 and 1080p monitor. Nah, that was um I did, and then I updated to Windows 11, and it actually like fixed it. So that was an issue I was running into like for years, just with like different refresh rate monitors as well. But yeah, Windows 11 like fixed all of that. What's your highest score in grid shot? Like around 140. I've never grinded grid shot and did not appeal to me like jumbo tile frenzy did and shit like that. But um, I respect the grid shot speed clickers. Can you address the Botox allegations? Who on me? <laughs> I hate the biomes in the map. Like there's so much visual clutter for a new player. It's kind of hard to see. 
that's interesting. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about the um the few changes they made this season. I was honestly like kind of chill with everything. It's three forty five a.m. for me. What the fuck are you in like Australia, like Asia, something like that? Is this Twitch? This is not Twitch. Does Super Late Chi need an extra dongle for two K polling? Um, I would strongly imagine. I would say almost one hundred percent now. Um, just stop in. What do you think of the Asus Q uh, OLED two forty hertz? Um, it's something like where I would want to check it out if I didn't already think I have my end game monitor with 1440p 360 hertz. Like, I just know even with OLED going to 240 hertz, it would just feel like a downgrade. There's probably some type of issues with the OLED. Like, I just don't believe these OLED panels are like truly ready. And it just seems like a lot more of a headache when I have a fucking perfect monitor. Are you ranked in Voltaic? Nah. I need to do a few of the scenarios, though, so I can be like, I'm a Nova on the scenarios I care about. Do you play Bucket Shot? No, I don't play Aim Lab at all, really. I only play Kovacs. Is that on Kovacs? If it's on Kovacs, I'll actually grind it, because it looked kind of fun. I should play Aim Beast as well, like not the cringe Aim Beast scenarios. Why don't you review keyboards? I do. I've reviewed almost every good gaming keyboard, but the problem is, like, most keyboards are boring. I should be getting the Drunk Deer keyboard soon. Like, I'll check out some of the Hall Effect stuff, but gaming keyboards just don't excite me because there are a few that just clear the rest of the market. What Zero are you using? This is a Shidinkai. It's the new Shidinkai in orange, but I do have a Zero X up in orange as well. Kovacs is free or paid? It's $10. Um, but for me, I have a lot of hours on the game, and it's been a worthy investment. But yeah, AimLab is free. I just don't like the UI at all. I don't like the way the game feels. I just don't like AimLab. What's your one wall six T? I presume you mean one wall six target small, and I'm like close to fourteen hundred on it. I yeah, I think I'm like thirteen ninety eight or something. So I'm not a small dots demon. Like, I don't know if it's worth grinding small dots to get to 1,500. Is the XM2 Wii a good option? It's a good option. Won't be my number one option, but really just depends whichever is cheaper between that and the Lamzu Atlantis. Keyboards you love from India. Yo, shout out to India. Um, recently bought the Viper Cobra. Want to upgrade to a mouse with a future retro recommendation? Viper Ricci Pro or GPX Superlight? Um, the new GPX coming out could be good. The GPX 2, but... Viper VG Pro is a r upgrade that makes a lot of sense, judging by what you currently have. Thoughts on Lamps of Energon Pro versus normal? As far as I know, the Pro is literally just fucking 500 by 500 size. So I don't know. Like, I've been getting comments about that, but they sent me, and I'm like, this is literally the same thing. Um, I didn't like AimLabs either, but their rank system was pretty dope. Yeah, I'm like, I'm years into my hate of AimLab. Like, there's nothing they could do that wouldn't be, like, a complete overhaul and, like, removal of, like, 80% of the content that they have and like making it into a sandbox aim trainer that I would actually make me like it. So, um, I just think, you know, not every aim trainer is going to be for everybody. Just ordered HPC 01M, heard Amadav's review and there were a couple of redders decided to pull the trigger. I hope you did not come to the conclusion that you're going to be getting like a top tier small ambi mouse from those reviews because I just feel like anybody saying that is just like, it would be close to considered lying. Like, it just does not feel on the same level as some of these smaller, lighter, lighter mice. But I'll have a video out on it soon. How long did it take for Lamzu to get in your hands? I, I don't know. It's It was only a few days, but they sent it to me directly from China through DHL Express. So, that I don't know if that's, like, standard. AimLab felt crusty. Crusty compared to Kovacs three years ago, so I'll never use it. I very based. Um, yeah, that's kind of how I was as well, but people kept saying, like, oh, AimLab's better now. But the truth is, like, not many people are playing AimLab's unless they're paid to. Like, I, I mean that in, like, the Aim Trainer scene. I don't know if the CSGO Aim Trainers that I play are good for every game. Though. I mean, it's definitely good enough for CS, uh, but I would recommend, like, the $10 Kovacs investment. Might be like eight dollars on sale. Who knows? How do you clean hair from Arson Zero? Apparently, you're not supposed to use a lint roller um, because that will like damage the pad, which I've never done. You're supposed to use tweezers.
about Death Hair V3 AK. Excited. Very good. Have you gone to OP1 Wii? No. I'm going to order it um, just after I end streaming. Bought the rocket. That sounds weird, Marco. Um, But yeah, Endgame Beer apparently does not want a review out on the OP1 Wii, but I'm going to buy one and review it anyway. Who are you liking VFX Zero Orange? I mean, I reviewed it in the past, I believe, and I really like it a lot. It's just like a newer Zero Orange color. Very nice. But yeah, this is the Shinkai, and liking that as well. I mean, Artisan has never released a mouse pad that I thought was like, wow, this is boring, this is shitty. Artisan or the goats for a reason. Have you tested a ceramic mouse pad? Yeah, check my um, Serapad Kin review. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I feel like that is going to be all for this just random Saturday live stream. A bit on the shorter end, but read through a lot of chat questions. Hopefully everybody had a terrific time. And yeah, have a wonderful rest of your days. I will have some type of video out tomorrow. And yeah, there'll probably be a Shinkai review. Um, but yeah, peace out, everybody. Have a good one. Respect your elders. And that is going to be all.